So here we are in stage six of our deepest dungeon tutorials where we're learning to um, do object oriented programming in Python by creating a text-based adventure. So, so far we have created our rooms, um, we have created characters, we have made those characters into either friends or foe. We put those characters into the rooms. The rooms are all linked together. We've got a main loop which is running the stuff. We've now made items. The items have gone into the rooms. And so the next stage we've got here is the player interacting with the items. At the moment we just see that they're in here. So stage six is where we're talking about interacting with the items. So the three things we're going to do in this one is we're going to allow the player to take the item. We're going to create the backpack create a backpack variable which they put the item into and then we are going to limit the weapons so when they're actually fighting they just can't choose whatever they whatever they want to fight they need to choose an item that is in their backpack so let's get started by getting for um thony fighter um then to start off with this so all these three things actually go back to here um, and all these three things, you see there's no change in the UMLs, these are always like saying all these three things happen in our main program, in our main file. So, um, so we're going to need to initialize a backpack variable, add the take command to the main loop, we've got to add a backpack command to the main loop, and we've got to restrict the fight command or adjust the fight command which is in the main loop. So they're all in the main program. So I'm going to get Thony opened up and going to go to the main program. And the first thing I need to do is I need to make a backpack variable. So I'm going to go down to where I've created all the other variables, the three other variables at the moment, and I'm just going to say backpack. What type of data type would best suit this? Well, it's going to be an empty list because we're just going to keep adding items into it. So we can just keep appending items into the into the back of our backpack or into the end of our backpack. So it's a list, and that list is going to be full of different item objects. Um, so I have now created a backpack variable. I need to add the take command. So I'm going to come down to the main loop in here and in here I'm going to go to before the quit and I'm going to say elif um, command and if it equals take what I want it to do is I want to find the I want to see if there's an item in the room. If there is an item in the room I want to put it to our backpack. So to do that I need to say um, if current room dot item is not none. So if the item room um, is not none, so therefore there's an actual item in the room, then I need to, um, with my backpack list, I need to append to it what that item actually is. Um, item dot um, Sorry, should be current room dot item dot. Now I don't need to know the description. At the moment I've got the item and I've got the description. Um, I'm just I will. I'm just gonna add the item. I'm not gonna worry about anything else. And um, because that may leave the capacity to expand things further on. So I've taken the object, I'm putting the object inside the current room. Um, and it, from the object from the current room, put it inside the backpack. So it's now been added and appended to the end of the backpack. And I should let the user know that I've actually done that or that they've done that. So you should respond to the user so they know that something's happened. Um, you put current room dot item dot name, radio, into your backpack. And close that and close that. Right here. So it's all happy now. And the last thing I'm going to do is I need to remove the item from the actual room because it's no longer in the room, it's actually in the backpack. So um, current room dot item equals none. So there actually is no item left in the room now. Now that's only if there is an item. If there isn't an item, again, I need to give my user a message. I'm just going to say print. Um, there is nothing here to take. Rightio. So nothing to take, so I've got that. Rightio, so now I've got my um, take command, and it's taking the object and it's putting it into my backpack. So let's have a look and see what we're going to do now. The backpack command, because I need to see if things are actually in the backpack. So let's go have a look and come in here, and I need to make a command now 
which will tell me all the items that are in my backpack. So let's say elif command equals backpack. Rightio, so if the command equals backpack, what I want it to do is, well, first off, let's see, is the backpack empty? So if backpack equals empty string, um, then it's basically going to say it's empty. Rightio. But if it's not empty, I do want to, so if it's not empty, else, um, I want to list off the things that they have. So I'm just going to print a statement you have. So I can do dot points underneath that. And I'm just going to use um, a for loop. So I'm just going to iterate over all the items that are in the backpack and just list them line after line in here. So for item in backpack, so for each item in backpack, what I want to say is print I'm going to format this using an F string or a little hyphen and then I'm going to say what the item is dot name and I'm going to capitalize it just so it looks a little bit better a bit of formatting in there and close that and close that everything's closed yep it's happy radio so I've done that so let's just run that and see if that works go run no, what have I done? If backpack, okay, I, I didn't assign it as opposed to put in the is equal to. Right, you go in the southern cave, you see a chair. So I'm going to say take. Um, you out chair. Okay, that's a typo. I need to fix that. You put chair would be a much better word to have. So there's my take command. Um, you put chair. Um, into your backpack. Awesome, so my chair's in the backpack, so now I should be able to see what's actually in the backpack. Backpack, you have chair, awesome. So it tells me everything that I need to know. Running how I want it to, what happens if I go um, south and there is an Elmo there? I'm gonna say take, you, you take Elmo and put it in your backpack, and I'm gonna say um, backpack, and it should list both items, chair and Elmo. So that's working, so I've now got the options of taking the item. I'm just gonna quit out of that. I've taken the item, initialized backpack, I've taken the item, and I've actually added the, the backpack command so you can see what's actually in the backpack. Next thing I do, I need to adjust the fight command so it allows me only to fight with items that are in my backpack. So, come back up to the fight command here. I can say, um, if fight, right, if current room character is not none, that's fine, so there is an item in the character in the room. We're gonna ask for the weapon, input, what will you fight with, okay? And then we're gonna say, what we need to do is test whether or not what they type in is one of our options. And the problem we've got is, is that what is stored in our backpack is the item, is not, um, is not the name of the item. And I wanna check what they're typing in, the actual, um, the actual, string that they're typing in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to make a really quick additional list here, which is gonna tell me the names of all the available, um, all the available items that are in your backpack that you can fight with. So for item in backpack, and I'm basically just going to append the name to available weapons. Um, available weapons dot append and what I'm going to append to it is item dot name. So that should now give me a list. They should have a list in here of the name of all the objects in my item in my backpack. Right, so now I've done that. Now I can check whether or not the item they they actually chose. So if it's cheese, whether I actually have cheese in my backpack. So um, if weapon in Available weapon. I should make that plural. Cool. Is in available weapons. So if it's in the available weapons, then they can fight with it. So what I then say is tab. Um, so then um, if you have current room, um, so 
I have gone, I've said I'm going to fight, I've said the weapon that I'm going to fight, and then I've made a list of all possible weapons that I actually have in my backpack. So I've done that here. Then I've said if the weapon that you've chosen, the user's chosen, if it's, a, it's actually in your backpack, then you will fight with that weapon. Right, yeah? And that will determine whether or not you win or lose, whether it's the right item or not. But we also need to allow for the fact that if um, if I have chosen an item which is not in my backpack, what am I going to say? So first, I need to let the users know that if um, you don't have, and then... So if I say cheese, but I don't have cheese, then it's gonna say you don't have cheese. And then I'm going to um, put a message in, which pretty much says you're gonna die because you've had a bad hit. But let's say, who's saying, let's say the actual um, character in here, their name is, so choose the character and name, and then I'm going to um, say strikes you down, and because you struck you down, and because you have lost the game, we're going to say running equals false. Okay, so let's see if that runs and does what we want. So I come up here, run it. You don't have weapon. I didn't close my string. Here we are. Go. Okay. Hey there, Kevin. So I need to. You see a chair in the room is designed to be sat on. I'm going to take the chair. Radio, and I'm going to go south. And there's an Elmo, so I'm going to take the um, Elmo. Radio, um, and then I'm going to go east, and I'm going to take the cheese. So um, if I take again. Um, and then I'm going to go west, so I'm actually going to fight Eugene, I'm going to fight Eugene, what you fight with, so let's see if I, if I, if it's successful, if I've got the right object. Cheese. Radio, you strike Eugene now with cheese. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to quit and test this again. So that's the first option. There's one, there's three possible things that we programmed in here. Um, like there's two, there's two possible ones that you have an item that's in your backpack and an item that's not in your backpack. So let's see what happens if the item you say is not in your backpack. So I go south and then I want to fight Eugene. What you fight with, I'm going to say cheese. And it goes, um, you don't have cheese, Eugene strikes you down. Okay, so that's it. So let's see what we've got now. We've restricted the fight command. We've got that all going, so... We don't worry about stage. So that's it for this project. So we've now got, well, that's it for this stage. So we've now got the creating the rooms. We're moving around the rooms. We're finding the objects. We're fighting the characters. Um, so we're pretty much almost there. We just got a few other little things we've got to do to clean this up and finish this off. But there we go. That's the end of stage six.